Hello and welcome to the Sim Racing Corner. For a couple of weeks, I've been testing a cheap DIY spring mod for the Fanatec CSL load sail brake. The purpose of this mod is to soften the feel and increase the pedal travel of the stock load sail pedal and basically improve the resistive feedback from the pedal. The stock pedal is very firm and indeed it is the stiffest load sail brake I've used so far. And this is something some owners of this pedal set do struggle to get adjusted to. If the pedals aren't mounted to a stable sim rig, then that can magnify the difficulty operating the brake. So if this is something that affects your experience as a user of the Fanatec CSL pedals, keep watching. Um, there's also details in the description where to find these springs. So we have two springs here, but we only need one of these for the mod. The reason I have two of these is they are two different grades of stiffness. So it will largely depend on you know what's gonna be best for you. We'll talk about this later in the video. But first, um, let me just talk about these springs I have here. So the softest one, and which is the yellow one, and the medium one, which is blue. There's also a red one you can get, but I'd say avoid that as it's so stiff, there's no point you know doing the mod if you use the red spring as it's gonna be far too stiff. So those are your options. And uh, just let me show you the details just to make sure you get the right spring. Although, you know, check the description, there's full details there. But I'll clarify again now. Um, so the inner diameter is 10 mil, outer diameter is 20 mil, and the overall length of the spring is 25 mil. When you remove this from the back of your brake pedal, there is a tendency for bits to fly around. So take a moment to uh, take note of the order of the washers on the outside here. So you have this big one on the outside and this little uh, one on the inside. So that's the order it goes in. So if you remember that, you be, should be fine no matter what, as uh, everything else is quite simple. So first off, we uh, take those out of the way and we lose one of these washers, the plastic ones there, and we, we also lose two of the elastomers there and what we do we uh, take one of our springs put it on there and as you can see it does fit absolutely flush and perfectly in that washer there take another washer stick that on there so it's sandwiched between the two washers then we take the small washer the metal one that pops in there and finally the large washer goes on the outside and we can now fit this back onto the brake pedal I'm using the blue spring and that was my preference between the two of the springs. The balance of pedal travel, progressive feedback and pedal resistance, I found the blue spring worked for me best. The spring and the elastomers are working together. Observe how they compress at the same time. The other detail to observe is the metal spring is never fully compressing even under heavy braking. If the spring was to bottom out, you feel that as a hard stop and that's not ideal. If we move over to the Fanatec control panel, I have the brake force set at 85% and the spring is only fully compressing at 100% braking input. 85% brake force is a high setting. If we look at the yellow spring at the same setting of 85% brake force, the spring manages to reach 80% braking input when the spring fully compresses. As I said before, when the spring bottoms out, you feel that as a hard stop, so it's not ideal. You can continue pushing into the pedal to reach 100% braking input, though it's not quite natural feeling. So really, you want to avoid that. The yellow spring is only capable of 70% brake force to even out the full compression of the spring for the 100% braking input, thus demonstrating the difference between the loading capacity of the springs. So does that mean you should go with the blue spring like me? Well, before deciding, do take a moment to think about your pedal mounting situation and if it's fully capable of handling that much force. Properly mounted onto a solid sim rig, yes, go right ahead, I'd recommend the blue spring. But if you're working with a wheel stand or your pedals are simply loose on the floor, then possibly the yellow spring is more appropriate for you. If in doubt, get both the yellow and the blue springs. They are super cheap, so it's worth it. Either way, this spring mod is effective, it works really well. So if you're not happy with the feel of the stock load cell brake pedal on your CSL pedals, do give it a try and do indeed leave a comment below the video, drop your feedback once you've tried it. It really helps everyone else who does watch this video. You know, more shared opinions really helps um, everyone get a good picture if it is a good mod or not. 
because of course this is a subjective video and I can only give you my opinions. Before we end this video, I do know there is a burning question. How does this DIY spring mod compare to the 3D wrap brake mod? If you haven't watched that review, there is a link in the description, do check it out. Personally, I will say I do prefer the 3D wrap mod. That said, I did run the spring mod for a couple of weeks and I am perfectly satisfied with the performance. It's good. If I didn't have the 3D wrap mod, I'd continue with this mod here. So, you know, I have no complaints. It is perfectly good. The thing to know though, is elastomers are used over springs on load cell brake pedals for a reason. Elastomers do a better job than metal springs. They provide progressive resistance that is more like a real brake pedal feel. So it does make sense to use that material. But also know, with the DIY mod, we have a hybrid setup, 50-50 elastomer and metal spring, and it does blend together and works really well. So, you know, it's not unheard of for other load cell pedal sets to come shipped with a hybrid system, you know, spring and elastomer setup. So it's not a new thing, you know, there's nothing to worry about. And regardless of my subjective preference, this is a good mod, you know, it's a really great mod. For very little expense or effort to install, you really can't go wrong. And that's it for this one. I'll leave you fine people to get on with your day. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, happy simming and bye bye.